Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing PHP Server Monitor on Linux. To get started, launch the terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade to install any available software updates. Then we'll use apt install to install an Apache 2 web server and MariaDB database backend, followed by a second apt install to install PHP and the required PHP modules. We'll elevate to a root shell using sudo su, then execute the MySQL secure installation script. Follow the prompts to set a root MySQL password and mitigate known MySQL vulnerabilities. Next, we'll connect to our MariaDB database using the MySQL command line utilities. Using SQL commands, we'll create a server monitor database as well as a MySQL service account with full permissions to the new database. Then we'll flush the MySQL privileges, close the connection to MySQL, and exit the root shell. Now we'll use wget to download the latest release of PHP Server Monitor from GitHub. We'll extract the downloaded tar.gz archive to the web root, then rename the extracted folder to just monitor. We'll create a new config.php file, then set ownership of the monitor directory to the www data group. Then set the time zone in php.ini and restart the Apache 2 web server for the changes to take effect. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the host slash monitor slash install.php. Click the Let's Go button. Using the video description as a guide, complete the database configuration form fields. Once completed, click Save Configuration. Create an administrator account by entering a username, password, and email address, then click the Install button. Once the installation completes, click the Go to your Monitor button. Log in using the administrator credentials you set up earlier. Welcome to PHP Server Monitor, running on your Linux device. I'm going to delete the two pre-configured monitors. Then I'll set up a simple monitor for the Apache 2 web server we just installed. If we navigate back to the status page, we can see the web server is up and running. And quickly to demonstrate what an outage looks like, I'll create a fake website monitor. 